Hey everyone, I'm Pratima and today I'm very excited because we have the RTX 4090 in the house. So when Nvidia unveiled it, I was super surprised at the performance leap it had from the RTX 3090 and the 3090 Ti. So in that moment, I knew that I had to get this. So now that it's here, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play 10 of the most demanding games all in 4K resolution at the maximum settings possible. But before I do that, I want to tell you guys my experience about getting this GPU because it was not easy at all. It is not officially available here in Nepal, so I had to get it from scalpers and it cost me a whopping 3 lakh rupees here in Nepal, which I know is a lot of money. Uh, it converts to some uh, 2 lakh rupees in India and that is way higher than its official MSRP um, in the US or any other region. Anyway, my existing PC setup, which is this, it has the RTX 3080, i9, uh, 12900K CPU, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and M.2 PCIe Gen 4 SSD, all in this Aorus Z690 motherboard. As I said, it's pretty sick in itself. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out the RTX 3080 and put in the RTX 4090 so that we can play some games. Let's do it. Now we unbox this. So from the box itself, you can imagine the size. A little note. And then we have the RTX 4090 itself. So I have to admit that I'm not a very patient person. So I had already unboxed it. I am doing it yet again. So. And I know that I'm going to have a hard time fitting it here because of this huge cooler, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Done. So when you get the RDX 4090, what you have to remember is that you need at least thousand watt uh, PSU to power this thing. Um, we already have a thousand watt PSU. I don't know why we used it for the RTX 3080, but we already have one. And since we have the 12900K already, it should not create a bottleneck in performance as well. Okay, now we're done with this. So let's get into playing games. But before that, something I want to tell you is that this is not a review of any kind. I know there are already a lot of reviews out of the 4090. So in this video, we're just gonna play some games, have some fun, test uh, 4K gaming on this new graphics card and uh, see how it performs. So let's get started. Okay, so we've sit down to play games and the first game we're going to try is the Cyberpunk 2077. But before that, I want to give you a quick rundown of the setup I have here. I don't have a 4K monitor uh, with a high refresh rate support. So we're gonna play games in this LG C1 OLED TV that I have right here. It's a 55 inch TV. It's um, 4K as I said, and it also supports 120Hz refresh rate. And it also supports uh, G-Sync and VRR, basically all the stuff that you need for 4K gaming. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's get started. Let's review our settings. Video settings, 3840 by 2160, good for us. We're gaming at 4K, going all in. Uh, we're turning off DLSS 4 now. Although this game does support DLSS 3, but we have not received that update yet. It's a very big update, but we've not received it. So we're turning it off. Other settings, ray tracing is on, and we've set it to psycho because we want to go all in as I said. So yeah, let's start the game. All right. So please don't judge my gaming skills. I'm not a very good gamer, especially if I have to ride cars in games. I suck at that. Okay, so we're getting around 36 FPS. Good enough. The gameplay looks fine. The shadow details and textures look amazing. The gameplay is so sharp. And we're still at 35 FPS. I think it's good enough. I mean, with the quality we are playing, the game looks really nice. Again, the FPS is very stable. 1% lows also very nice, very impressive. I'm dead, let's move to another game. 
So we are playing Forza Horizon 5 right now. Let's review our settings and quickly get into the gameplay. Okay, we have 4K resolution. Check, everything else is good. Graphics, so we've set shadow quality to extreme, motion blur low. Okay, okay, done, extreme, extreme. Okay, uh, we have uh, an option for ray tracing and we've set it to high, but it does not really matter in the actual gameplay because it's only available in the Forza Horizon Vista mode. I will just continue my game. Please don't judge my driving skills with this. Or if you want to judge, you can. The gameplay is very smooth. The details are awesome. Just... Oh. As I said, please don't judge my gaming skills. Back on track and we're getting about 155 FPS. Impressive again. 1% uh, lows is at 123 FPS. The details in the trees and everything, the clouds, the sharpness is awesome. Okay, I have to get past this guy. Okay, we're constantly getting 149, 150 FPS. Again, very impressive. I am not very good at this game, but I like playing it. It's almost like I'm not very good at singing, but I sing anyways. So we're playing Hitman 3 right now. I'm basically a serial killer, not me, but my character is a serial killer in this game and I have to kill two people. So that's my mission. Okay, change into a completely different person. Let's go kill people. Okay, uh, FPS count seems very nice. It is at 215, 220, it's hovering at around that. Gameplay looks very, very smooth. The graphics, again, amazing at 4K. I have actually played this game many times, but never been able to understand it fully. So I don't know, Hitman fans, I don't mean any offense, but yeah, I really don't understand this game. So let's move on. All right, so now we've moved on to playing Overwatch 2. This is a relatively new game and I am playing it for the first time right here. So let's check our settings and get into the game. Resolution, we want 4K 120. Frame rates, we want custom. Let's max it out, V-Sync off. NVIDIA Reflex Enable Plus Boost. Okay, that should do it. Um, graphics quality, highest, epic. So yeah, let's start the game. Okay, so we're in the game. Let's start it right away. What is this? Looks like a mixture of CSGO, Valorant and League of Legends. So we're getting around 330 FPS. Nice. This game is not very demanding as it is. So we're getting very good FPS. The gameplay is smooth. Everything looks very sharp and detailed. Did I die? Okay, since I'm dead, let's move on to the other game. So the next game is Borderlands 3. Let's check the settings real quick. We have the visuals. Okay, 4K done. Everything is fine. Graphics quality badass. Just like what I want to be in real life. But fail to do so, let's start the game. This is actually a quite fun game, but I have not played it many times. So I need to figure out some things. Okay, you die. There is another one, you die. Okay, we're getting like 133 FPS. 
and everything looks very sharp we played three games and everything looks crisp okay the door is open okay i'm dead <laughs> okay now we move on to control uh let's review our settings i've played control a few times before i think it's an impressive game the visuals especially they're awesome and the script is also very good display we are playing at the highest 4k resolution render at 4k uh, quality preset high everything high 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 retracing high motion blur off yeah that's it okay so we're set let's continue my game apparently i've left it on plane okay we're in 77 78 fps not bad gone in as i said the visuals on this thing is very nice the gameplay looks very smooth as it has been for most of the games but yeah it looks really nice dead so uh we've played a lot of first person shooter games and uh i want to spice things up so let's play a racing game we have f1 2022 here first let me check the settings settings graphic settings because as i've repeatedly said we want to go all in video mode resolution is fine using off and realizing off ray tracing ultra high everything else is ultra high fine okay so we're all set let's race okay so we're in the game we're getting around 90 93 fps not bad games like this it's it's very pleasing to play on a bigger screen but playing racing games it's it's just they look better on a bigger monitor and i'm having the best time right now i wish i had the steering wheels as well it would have made the gameplay even more immersive okay still steady at our fps at around 85 okay so now we're playing gta 5 at the highest resolution 4k at all the maximum settings possible so i'm getting around 70 to 75 fps in this game which is not bad when i used to play at 1080p on my 3080 i used to get around 150 160 fps so considerably good like all the games we have played it looks very nice and sharp supposed to hit anyone let's jump to shadow of the tomb raiders now as always graphic settings let's change the graphic settings dlss off graphics preset highest retrace ultra motion blur off okay so looks like our progress that was saved before is not here anymore so we're starting again Okay, so in this game, we're getting around 118 FPS, which is good considering we're playing at 4K resolution. And since I'm playing in an OLED screen, the contrast looks amazing. And this is a very dark game, so we have to consider that as well. Alright, so uh, this is the ninth game for today, and I guess we've had enough adventures so let's move on to the 10th game which is everybody's favorite i think let's play csgo okay so we're playing our final game for today which is csgo it's not a very gpu hungry game but i play it frequently and i've never played, played it in 4k before so okay and obviously the gameplay is smooth even with the 3080 i used to get very smooth performance so and here we're getting around 374 fps even at 4k and the gameplay is very smooth as you can see and i'm dead so csgo is not a very gpu demanding game and 
I obviously thought that it would perform well even in 4K. As you can see, the performance is very smooth. But I guess the reason that we're getting very good FPS is also because our CPU is very uh, powerful. So this is about this is a CPU demanding game more than a GPU demanding game. So the gameplay is very nice. <sighs> so that was it for all guys. Um, playing games all day is a dream job for me and I got to do that today that too in 4k so smoothly I've had the best time having said that I don't think the RTX 4090 is for everyone because first off it's very expensive it makes sense for me because I'm a reviewer I have to work with videos animations the 4090 has uh, two media encoders instead of just one that was there on the RTX 3080 so again it makes sense for me but even so if you want to build a PC with the RTX 4090 I think you should at least cash in four thousand to five thousand dollars because first of all the GPU is expensive in itself and um, after that that you will have to buy the compatible components so that you don't bottleneck the performance so if money is not a problem and if you want to play games in 4k i think you should definitely go with the rtx 4090. Um, however if you are looking for a better value i think you should go with rtx 30 series graphics cards or even ones from amd because their prices have gone below the msrp and uh, the prices are really awesome right now um, but if you want even better value you can even go with used graphics cards as well in the end i think it's really impressive that playing games in 4k is now a possibility that do so smoothly so i am very impressed by that um, i know right now the prices are are crazy but eventually they will go down so i believe 4k is truly the future of gaming so guys with this we've come to the end of this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and while you're there don't forget to subscribe to our channel we will be coming up with more of such uh, gaming and pc related contents as well so keep supporting and thank you